On the ground and from the air, Iraqi government forces attacked Islamic State militant positions as the operation to liberate the western side of the city of Mosul got underway. Backed by U.S.-led coalition airstrikes, they focused on clearing snipers from the southern district of Al Busaif, which overlooks Mosul's airport. During the first day of the assault on February 19th, Iraqi forces said they captured a series of villages west of the city after helicopter gunships pounded IS targets. <laughs> A 100,000-strong force of Iraqi troops, Kurdish fighters, and Shiite militias backed by Iran took full control of the eastern side of Mosul in January. With the next phase of the operation in full swing, the new U.S. Defense Secretary, Jim Mattis, arrived in the Iraqi capital. To uh, see an Iraqi military that can fight as, as truly valiantly as this one has, uh, considering the situation they faced as, as ISIS uh, rose to occupy much of their country, and to see that in spite of the casualties, it's not only held together, it's come back stronger and is now winning. Mosul is Iraq's second largest city and fell into the hands of Islamic State militants in June 2014. The U.S. commander in Iraq said the country's military has come a long way since then. If you look back just a little over two years ago, this army was broken and defeated and barely able to hold their capital. It is an incredible uh, turnaround. The battles are expected to be brutal in and around western Mosul's narrow and winding streets. Iraqi troops are bracing for house-to-house -house urban fighting and the United Nations is warning up to 400,000 civilians could be displaced.